Hi, I'm Michelle Clark, and this is Runway My Way. So I'll be taking three looks from backstage last season and translating them into my style. The first look is Manish Aurora. There were tons of colors in this show. I was really attached to this acid green. Let me show you how I translate this look. I'm gonna start with skin, and I'm gonna drench myself in a little Fix Plus. So I've got a mixture of the essential oil into comfort cream slathered on my hands. And I'm gonna start by just massaging it in. Let's move on to the eyes. First thing I'm gonna use is 24 hour eye base. Across my lid and all the way up to my brow bone. I'm gonna be using primary yellow chromographic pencil and I'm gonna stop it about halfway across my crease. Next up, it's the pencil brush, but to blend out and maintain that shape. So I'm just softening the edge a tiny bit. Next step, my palette here with that acid green. This look isn't really about blending so much, so it's about being more precise with placement first. Give this a little more pop in the inner corners. This is Prep and Prime finishing powder, and I'm actually gonna use that to blend out the edges. It makes the edge soft without taking away from the color. Let's get into some liners. So I'm just going into the waterline first. I'm going underneath the upper lash line. Next up, in extreme dimension. And I start by just kind of going at the root of the lash. And then I'm gonna use the tip of the brush to create more volume and more precision. This palette, black eyeshadow, is the blackest black you will ever find. Just push it into the lash line. Are you guys seeing how black this is? I want my, my face to be glowy, but I don't want it to be greasy. We're avoiding grease by adding Skin Refine Zone. We're going in with Studio Fix Fluid, and I'm gonna mix in a touch of Stroke Cream, adding it where I need it most. This is the Studio Conceal and Correct Duo. You should always think about color correcting before you conceal. That pale pink is gonna take away and knock out a little bit of that purpley color that I naturally have. Because I pull a lot of red, the yellow is gonna help take care of that redness. Mineralized concealer, just there. So it gives me this pop under the eye. So I've got Studio Fix powder and my very loved Prep and Prime powder. So that's about how much you want from Translucent and then you dip into your Studio Fix. I'm gonna sweep it under the eye first because I wanna make sure that's set. And here I can kind of go back and forth. And then I'm just gonna go in with the translucent and go right in between the brows. Next, Sculpt and Shape palette. I'm just gonna kind of start to edge out my cheekbone. One of my favorite tricks is use Powder Kiss Lipstick as blush. So I'm gonna start with the scattered petals and I'm gonna do a couple stripes and I'm gonna just softly blend it out. You can see like that is powder lipstick, but it's matte and it actually has a lot of color. This is the mullet over and I'm just gonna go over just a tiny bit, creating this shape. I'm gonna put on scattered petals to start in the center and I like that I can kind of like tap it in to the skin. The way that I like to describe this product is it feels like lip balm to me, but lip balm with color. I'm gonna go in the opposite direction with my eyebrow and brush against the way that the hair grows to coat each and every hair. So then I go back and I start combing in the right direction. Ooh, this is cute. Yes, this is the Manish Aurora look my way. This look is from Maddie Bovin. This show is all about a new take on film noir and I'm gonna show you mine. As you can see, I've got a coat of mascara on this side, top and bottom, and so did the models that walked the runway in this show. I turned it up by adding a lash to the other side and even more mascara. This is the 133 brush. I'm sticking it in the taupe from the contour and highlight palette, right across my lid, right over the brow bone, and kind of sweeping it out to the temple. It's also adding a touch of contour here. So I'm adding a little bit of emphasize here to the inner corner of the eye and then just under the brow bone, just to add light and brightness and just to pick the eye. Everything's always about the eye going upward. I'm gonna take that same brush I used before for the lid and I'm just gonna dust the very tip of it. You can actually sweep it just underneath the lash line 
to create a touch of shadow. This lash is dry, so I think we're ready to go in with it. So I do find that a compact is easier for you to look down in so your lid drops so you can place your lash. I want to just get the tips of my lashes and just lift the lash in here and then you can always give your bottom a little love. Now, using Powder Kiss as a contour color and I'm using the back side of the lipstick and then sweep that across the cheek. And that's what I love about Powder Kiss. I can use it in so many different ways, a contour and my lips. Let's start in the center of the lip. So I'm gonna keep my lips together and work in circular motions. The first thing to do is to create your cupid's bow. Once you have that done, you can go in from the outer corner and work back into the center. And I know it seems like a lot of lip liner, because it is, to start, but you're gonna, you're gonna see how I'm gonna build this out. Uh, adding the style shock to the center of the lip now, again, with the actual bullet. And you can see that's already starting to blend the two shades together. It's kind of giving me like a, a, its own ombre. But I'm gonna take this orange shadow here and I'm gonna actually just pat it on the center of the lip. And I'm not taking it to the very edge on purpose. I want you to be able to see the texture difference between the center of the lip and the outer edge. I just always wanna put more lip liner on. So I'm gonna put a little more lip liner on. It just looks really good. Really so that's my look, there you have it. This is Maddie Boven, my way. This next look is Ulta Zara from Paris Fashion Week. The look was incredible. It was this beautiful, rebellious, smoky eye, and I'm gonna show you my translation. We're gonna start with Teddy Eichel. Just using the pencil on its side and getting a thick amount, and I'm concentrating it right by the lash line to start. So they used uh, black at the show, but I'm choosing to use Teddy, which is like a bronze with a gold fleck to it. And then I'm gonna actually blow this out with a brush. I'm gonna go into the waterline. I'm gonna go in with Feline, a really beautiful, super black saturated liner. And I'm just going in on the waterline. I know I have this smoky brown on the edges, but I want the inside of the eye to be really, really black. I'm gonna add Carbon eyeshadow, which is the blackest black we make. I'm just adding more depth to the outer corner of the lid so that it, it kind of makes this cat-eyed shape without being a winged liner or a typical, you know, cat eye. And then I'm using the 217 just to sort of like soften the edge. So this is Prep and Prime Translucent finishing powder and then silver dusk iridescent powder mixed together. Adding this little combo here, it softens the intensity of both the teddy and the carbon and it gives it like a soft shimmer that you can catch in certain lighting, which is really nice. And for a bit of fun, you can go back into your silver dusk straight up, don't mix it, and just tap that into the inner corner here. And then I always take my finger and just kind of press it in. I'm going right to lips right now. So I'm gonna be mixing two shades of Powder Kiss, uh, Scattered Petals and Influentially It. Scattered Petals is my go-to to balance out a smoky eye because it's the perfect peachy pink mix. I'm gonna tone that down a tiny, tiny bit with Influentially It. This takes the sort of pinkiness away, but it keeps it still fresh and really beautiful. It's gloss time. And clear glass specifically is the OG. Today I'm putting it on with a vengeance. This is a miracle mat. You can use it on your face. Start with your finger to kind of push it back into the skin. And then you can grab a soft brush like the fan brush and just blend out those edges. It's gonna look chic, it's gonna look clean, it's gonna give you color. That's it, Ulta Zara, my way. Soft smoky eye, peachy cheek, and a nude lip. So you've just seen me create three looks from runway to my way. I hope it was inspiring and I hope you go home and create them your way.